My topic for this week is the interesting relationship between happiness and food. And actually, this presentation was based on the slow lecture, which I saw earlier this year. Um, it was a TED speech by this, name, uh, this guy named Benjamin Wallace. He's a journalist. Um, and he talked about actually on the price of happiness. And he selected uh, 12 items, mostly food, but they're very exquisite items that we cannot even afford. Mm -hmm. And he tasted them, experienced them, and he talked about how it is related to our pleasure. So uh, one of the things he talked about is this $160 worth of beef, and it's just a piece of beef, and it's $160. And after he tasted it, he said, uh, I wish it was tinier because it was it just melted in oh. your mouth. So and he actually talks about the price of the food and um, and actually I'm going to cover um, three of the categories of food like price and um, what makes you like happy what kind of food makes you happy and how would you eat those food? Um, and talk about the pleasure of eating. So, um, about the price, um, actually our brain uh, perceives the price as part of our pleasure from eating. And it, there was an interesting experiment done by researchers of Stanford University. And people were given wines of different labels. And um, the more expensive the wine was, people said, oh, it tastes better. And not only they thought it was, but the MRI, the brain imaging, actually showed that our brain acted more um, to the more expensive wines. So we can say that price is somewhat related to the pleasure we get from the food. Um, but I began to wonder that um, what other things would affect our pleasure of eating and um, how, like, what kind of food can actually make us happy. And um, so I found some uh, food that makes us happy. And the uh, reason behind this is that there is a substance called serotonin, uh, which is like the nerve substance um, that really. Uh, if you lack serotonin, you feel you're likely to feel more depressed and sad. So these food doesn't contain serotonin, but they actually um, help actually boost the release of serotonin in our brain. So uh, walnut, bananas, and chocolates are some things that really activates our release of serotonin, and. Um, also walnut and milk, that's milk, but um, it actually helps us relieve our stress and actually it helps us with insomnia problems, the sleeping problems. And, um, but the important thing is to not eat too much <laughs> of these. And for milk, it is important to warm it up before you eat because cold milk is not really good for your digestion. And um, the last one here is eggs, but uh, actually American researchers, they uh, proved that egg is no more cholesterol uh, high food, but it actually helps you um, to get healthy and actually eggs really help us to relieve, uh, release the serotonin in our body. So, um, uh, so how should we eat? Um, there are a couple things that we have to remember, which are pretty basic, but still, we have to um, chew repeatedly and slowly, and that also helps uh, release the serotonin in our brain. And we, um, some people claim that we should dine out every once in a while, because um, the place we eat actually affects our um, pleasure, and there are some people uh, who says that I never go out and eat only the home food, but dining out, it actually helps us refresh, get refreshed and um, 
sharing food with your friends or families, the loved ones, it, it, it actually helps you feel more happier even if you're eating the same food. Um, you may have experienced that. And also, um, eating what you want is very important and without considering any calories or oh, what if I get too fat or what, this is too sweet. Um, these kind of thoughts can actually give us too much stress and um, well eating is for pleasure so every once in a while we should eat what we want um, not considering any like, price or calories or fat. So um, my conclusion is simple but uh, as much as we are closely linked with food we should, um, and food is necessity in our lives, so we should value the pleasure that we get from eating, um, which can enrich or make our lives better. And there's a quote that I found that's very interesting. You, can bu you can't buy happiness, but you can buy an ice cream, and that's the kind of the same thing. So an ice, uh, just a cup of ice cream can make you happy. So. Um, it's important to um, find pleasure in eating. So, thank you.